Hey everyone, it's me again. I'm back and I got a iPhone 5S jailbroken. So I got some tweaks on it. I've tested it for a week to make sure it works for you guys. And uh, this will work for all the iPhones, including the iPhone 5S and the, all the iPads. Um, so let's just get into it. And the, the first uh, the first week would be called Classic uh, Switcher. And I will have all these in the description of the video so you can... Um, just look them up there if you don't know how to spell it. So, classic switcher would be, you know how in iOS 7 you have this big thing and it's kind of slow when you kill the apps and kind of annoying. So, let's go into settings and go into the classic switcher. And, okay, let's enable it. And when you enable it, it's this thing pops up uh, a couple times and then... Once you click OK, it, it shouldn't pop up anymore. And as you can see, I've blurred the background. And yeah, so it, it should show all your apps like that. And how do you kill app? You can kill all the apps at once by swiping it to the right and letting it go. And it kills all the apps, as you can see. But OK, so that's uh, called Classic Switcher. And let me disable it. Uh, for the video purposes and uh, the second second tweak would be called bioprotect bioprotect lets you um, protect your apps like any app that you want and this is only for the iPhone 5s sorry every other user skip skip the video to whatever just skip it to the next if you don't want to watch it but okay I'm just gonna go over bioprotect so bioprotect uh, as you can see right here crap okay so what you can do is right there you, you can set all these options and okay you can set applications which one you want to be blocked and when you set it you set up your ID, um, fingerprint ID in your settings like uh, normal and let's say I want to go into App Store I would have to use my um, finger touch ID and then say if I wanted to go I don't know just you can black block any app you want um, I don't know what else what else I have blocked but yeah so that would be bioprotect and you can I'm sure you can look up more videos on YouTube about it but I don't want to be too long so okay so the third one would be called fancy and it looks like this and so what it does is lets you customize all of these things um, background so like say from you want to customize that so okay so if you want to customize like I've customized this uh, notification center uh, color as you can see it's blue instead of black or white so yeah and you can also customize all all the rest of the things I'm just gonna uh, what should I I'm just not gonna do it you, you guys can see what it does so that, that would be fancy and uh, number four would be NC all only. So when you, so the first, uh, okay. So you can you can go into settings and. Sorry guys that I'm moving my phone so much, but hopefully it's not bad. Okay, so NC all only. You can disable both of these things, and when you go. To, swipe down, it will show all of your notifications just like iOS 6 would. So pretty awesome. Uh, I like this tweak because I never really use those mist or all, I mean not all mist and whatever the other one is. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The next one would be no slow animation. So you know when you double tap, as you can see that animation pops up, like you can see like the screen, you know, like zoom in and zoom out sort of. So let's, uh, let's go in here and okay. So no slow animations when you, once you enable it, you have other options in here, but I just enable it and. Uh, just watch me double tap and uh, see what happens see it goes really fast everything is just smooth and quick okay so that would be no slow animation and next one would be purge and purge what purge does is um, if you don't want to use the what is it called that classic switcher like in the beginning then you can just use purge and use this original one and what it lets you do is when you hold 
you can hold on the first application and you can kill all the apps at once. That's pretty awesome. I love that. And it should help you guys to save some time. <laughs> okay, so next one would be Status HUD 2 or HUD. I don't know how you say it. But okay, it's right here. This is how you spell it. And okay, so what it lets you do is when you. So you know sometimes you like watch YouTube or you watch like a video or something and when you turn down your volume it the, the big square pops up on your screen and it's all annoying and big so what this does is is you can see on a notification bar on a status bar right there you can see that I'm turning up and down my volume that's pretty cool uh, download that definitely it will help and take all your frustrations away Okay, so the next one is called iDynamic. This is not a tweak, but what this does is you download this iDynamic. That's how you spell it. And there's a whole bunch of wallpaper sets in here. And say you wanted to choose this one. That's the one I have. A pack. You can only have one pack at once. So I've downloaded this. And if I go into settings for a second. Okay, I'm back. So when you go into the settings and uh, you go into your wallpapers, choose wallpaper and when you click on these and you go into your live wallpapers, they should change with the pack that you chose. Say you can set up any of these wallpapers and it should be good. Okay, guys, that's that would be called um, iDynamic. And then next one is uh, what should we do next? Okay. Okay, so I have I have this app called Solstice and I have my city on Bioprotect so you can see. Hurry. Okay. I remember when City I used to load for like five minutes and I thought it was fast, but now it's actually really fast. So Okay, so Solstice. Okay, so um, as you can see, Solstice is a free free app on Cydia, and as you see my icons, it sort of theme, themes uh, like um, some of the icons, it, it gives them a theme, but really it's just, as you can see, the shadow, it adds a shadow, and I love that look. It looks it looks 100% better than um, the original iOS 7 icons, and it pretty much adds it to most of the icons and it looks pretty awesome definitely download that solstice it's not a theme it's a tweak actually so yeah download that it applies it to any theme I think so okay and then next one would be Pandora skips and what it lets you do pretty much you set up your Pandora or if you listen to Pandora you can have unlimited skips uh, I don't know if I want to demonstrate it but actually let's go and do it Okay, so, okay, so, as you can see, you can, okay, let me see. I don't know how many times in a row you can skip usually. I think it's like three or four times, I'm not sure. But, okay, that's three, four, five. Okay, you get the point. You can skip as many times as you want in the, in the Pandora. Pretty awesome, called Pandora Skips. And, uh, okay, so my next one would be Tiny Bar. And let me demonstrate that. You know when you get notifications and it's like this huge thing, almost like, like almost down to here, it shows your notification that you got a message or Snapchat, whatever. So let me show you um, this uh, app called... <clears throat> tiny bar okay guys and I'm back again had to take a drink of water but <sighs> okay <laughs> this is tiring um, so tiny bar okay tiny bar uh, let's let's talk about it so okay let's send let's send a message and when you go out the, 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 there will be like a little notification right up there. It's like a small bar. It's as big as the notification um, status bar. So, yeah, pretty awesome. 
Okay, and I'll show you it scrolls too, and there are settings for it. Let's set up, set up like, send a weird message to myself. And send. And as you can see, it's gonna scroll. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna show you the name and it's gonna scroll through the text pretty quick. And you can go and check it. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome tweak. I love this. It's called Tiny Bar. Okay, next one would be X key. And okay, let me just show you. First, let me show you what the original keyboards look like. As you can see, you have to click on this one, two, three to get those numbers to show up. Okay, um, with X key, you won't have to do that anymore. They sort of copied it, Galaxy S4 keyboard, but that's that's okay. I love I love that keyboard. And let's search for okay X key, just like that. And let's install, confirm, and I'll be back when it's downloaded hey guys it loaded so I'm back and I downloaded the X key and let's see what it did so as you can see the keyboard now has one two three all the way yeah just numbers up top so it's you don't have to click on this um, it's actually you know much easier so you can just tap on them pretty awesome I love this tweak and let's Let's see, let's see a couple more. Okay, so next one would be called Blord. And I will I will have the names in the description because it's kind of hard to spell those. But what Blord does is uh, it's, it's a keyboard tweak too. So as you can see, my keyboard is not white. It's usually white, but now it's black. black. So that's what the Blord did to it. Yeah, so download that and... It should help you at night. And my last but not least tweak is called Jelly Lock. Okay. Whew, sorry, I'm breathing hard because I'm like standing and it's tiring me. I'm like awkwardly standing by the camera. <laughs> okay, so Jelly Lock. kind of hard to type looking through the screen but okay it's called jelly lock 7 and let's just install it I'm not gonna go through the settings I'm sure you can figure it out it's not too hard but yeah let's respring and I'll be back okay we're back and <clears throat> excuse me we're back and so what it did is okay Let's see. I think you have to set it up. Okay, you go into settings and okay, where is okay Jelly Lock Seven? Enable it, and you can set up different shortcuts. But it's this circle, and you can you know drag it into whichever one you want, and that's pretty cool. You can change these um, order of them and which one you want up there. You can change the circle color, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, I like this tweak and uh, my last and this will be a bonus bonus tweak that everybody usually shows on their videos I usually try like show tweaks that nobody really shows I mean because I think all the videos are the same so I try to be like try to show new new tweaks and the ones that you haven't seen but it's pretty hard since everybody's doing this video so okay and Zeppelin 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 what can you do with Zeppelin let's enable it and as you can see I have clash of clans um, instead of T-Mobile and you can have like you can download like mega packs and you can have a lot of different things like let's see like these ones are the original that come with it but you can just type in Zeppelin pack and it should have like a shit ton of um, packs I mean like different pictures there's like car car names and yeah it's it's pretty cool what you can do with that and oh yeah and I crap I forgot to I forgot to say winterboard winterboard right here and what winterboard lets you do is theme your device um, solstice was the was the theme that we downloaded and uh, there's like there's like so many so many themes you can download from the from from Syria, let's see. 
yeah, you can go you can go and on YouTube and check. Just search for awesome themes for iOS seven, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of uh, videos about it. But I'm gonna be making one soon. Top ten themes that I found and.